Uh, thank you very much, uh, Alex Matere, and good evening, everyone. You are so silent, <laughs> or you are consuming wisdom. <laughs> thank you very much, uh, Your Excellency, uh, Raila Molo Odinga. Uh, thank you, the uh, Director of Kenya School of Government, uh, together with the organizers led by Matere and the team, Okango, my friend. Uh, and all the delegates, Amujambo. Yeah, I think I was here. I don't want to talk so much. I was here on Tuesday. We debated on a number of issues. I know I have a, some uh, unfinished assignment with you. I don't think there is uh, much time we have for that assignment, but I know we are going to interact with most of you, especially those who are Kenyan, and those who come from other countries, we will find a, a forum. Uh, in which we can share more. I think this should not end here. Uh, mine is just to take the opportunity to welcome uh, the Prime Minister, the former Prime Minister, and our Baba of the nation, um, and the, of, of course uh, the Director of the Kenya School of Government to uh, share with you some wisdom as we continue to interact in this evening. But just before I do that, uh, uh, during my interaction with you on Tuesday, I did mention that there is a very thin line between the youth population bulge, the youth unemployment, and the economic status of a nation. Uh, and of course, we delved into these matters a lot. I, I don't think this is a conversation that can uh, be finished in one sitting like this one. That's why I believe from here, we need to find and design ways of engaging more, whether it is from Kenya, whether we are visiting Togo next time, and we continue the conversation from there. We need to move across the Africa. And from where you are, please spread the gospel. Invite us. I'll be very available to come from where I sit and also our members who believe in this course. There is a, a book uh, written, I think, by Asemoglu, uh, Why Nations Fail. Those who have come across that book. There is uh, a town in south of uh, America. Uh, one part of the town is called Arizona. The other part is called Sonora. Uh, if you go to that sector, they are, the Sonora falls in Mexico. Arizona falls in America, USA. They are separated by one, just a fence. And you will see the living condition of Arizona and uh, Sonora that are like day and night. Why? Because in Arizona, the living conditions are high. High life expectancy. Education is free. There is free or affordable health care. Infrastructure is well taken care of. Water, electricity is in plenty. A town separated by only a fence. On the other side of the fence, Sonora, that falls in Mexico, it is completely opposite. Everything is deplorable. Infrastructure from water, and you can imagine they are separated by a fence. So you look, the right of this book looked at why that a town where one sector is separated by only a fence, people are living completely different life from the other one. Then he discovered that in Arizona, the government put in clear institutional framework, bureaucratic institutions. There is no theft of public funds. There is democratic uh, institutions that take care of leadership succession. There is clear uh, institutions that manages resources without corruption. And on the other side, everything I've said is there. And I think that is a problem of Africa in a nutshell. And once we solve the institutions, the bureaucratic institutions of our various countries, we look at resource mobilization, economic emancipation. Once we get the resources, how do we utilize? When we ever address that issue of institutional framework to avoid plunder of national resources and the clear institutions and bureaucratic uh, institutions that will make sure that education is free, 
water is provided, electricity is provided, healthcare is, uh, is affordable or available, that is the time I believe we we'll love solve a half of the problem of the youth population bulge and unemployment. I want to take this opportunity, ladies and gentlemen, to invite uh, the host, a person who has been uh, kind enough to give us these premises, uh, the Director General of the Kenya School of Government. Uh, welcome. Give him a round of applause.